Okay, I'm going to make this video as short as I possibly can so this information can get out there to anybody that has a tiny hawk and they're having problems. Uh, there's two problems plaguing this guy at uh, this moment in time and the first minor thing is when you plug it in maybe your first pack or your just while you're flying you plug in a pack and the image is reversed along with reverse brackets reverse uh, like when you're backing up in a car those brackets and the image is reversed so any input you give looks reversed but the image is reversed so with that all you do is unplug plug it and plug it back in the more serious one is the fact that when it gets down to about 3.3 3.4 volts it starts having what a lot of people are calling seizures and the reason this is happening is because there's not enough voltage coming from the BEC to feed the MCU, which is the mi micro control unit, if I understood 100% correctly. So, there is a fix, and it's actually very simple. If you have a, and I'll put every, all my conversations with Emacs himself and Sage and other people that have done this mod, and now you can fly down as low as you would like. So, first thing you're going to need is a spare board. I just had a different one in front of me when I did this the first time. It was a Beta FPV F4 brushless board, the very first one they came out with. It needed a receiver that was, oh, here we go, it's right here. But you're going to need a spare board. Uh, let's see if I can find it on here. You need a 10 microfarad capacitor. And you have to solder this from the 3.3 to the negative for the 3.3 this feeds voltage back into the system Emacs I'll put this up Emacs has even stated that their next batch is going to have this Emacs originally made it this is focused towards noobs I remember when Fat Shark came out with their kit that came with goggles controller and that brushed guy and it just it didn't do all that well but this can really get people into FPV. But it's easy if you know how to solder. I'll put the picture of Emacs' soldering job and then I'm going to show you mine right now. But the 3.3 volt pad is right here. And you can see now there is a capacitor on there. It holds enough, it has enough capacitance. I mean, you can even solder on one of these guys basically it's bridging the 3.3 and the negative sending that I'm guessing is sending the voltage back into the system and basically what I did was you can see there's on this board there is a capacitor missing from right here because there were three and then one I still have three more so if anybody's having this problem uh, I have three more of these capacitors I can use to fix somebody else's. Uh, these are too large, but may still work. But all you do is steal one off a bad board. Both of these are bad. And then solder it in place. And it is very small. I will say that. I mean, it's a microprocessor unit. It's very, very small. So, that's the biggest problem a lot of people may have so if you know somebody that knows how to solder very well you can have them do this but now I'm able to I'm having no problems flying it I actually purposely flew a battery down to 2.8 volts Emacs stated that they did not want the batteries to go below 3.3 volts the Inductrix I believe when it first came out it had problems of only flying for like a minute because as soon as it got to 3.5 volts per cell it would land. You could bridge, I believe it was a resistor. I can't remember exactly what part it is. I watched a video about it. Uh, and you would get, you would be able to fly it until you please, until you saw in the OSD time to land. A lot of people may get upset about this and say, well, you're not supposed to discharge your batteries past 3.5, 3.4 volts. Okay, well. The biggest thing I'll have to say against that is 
These batteries are $4 a piece, $5 a piece max. I just bought four for $22 on Amazon and that's shipped. So, in many ways, these batteries are dispensable. So, I mean, if you have the ability to really get the flight time out of this and you don't mind paying a little bit for batteries every now and then, you can do it. You can do this and run to 2.8. I see a lot of DVR videos where people are going all the way down to uh, 2.8 volts because they're in the groove. But all you do is solder that on, put it back together, and you're golden. Now you can, uh, I will say thus far on a GMB 550 mAh 1S battery, I've got 4 minutes and 26 seconds. That's not hovering. I, I race around my house. I will put a video up if need be showing the problem and then me flying to 2.8 volts. But that's how you fix that problem so you can fly as long as you damn well please. You're not limited by something that's done to a board that makes it so... You can only fly to a certain voltage. You just add a tiny little capacitor, or the, I'll even put the conversation up. He said you can even use a larger electrolytic capacitor. This is off a 3S, I believe it is. I'm not exactly sure, but best thing, they Emacs. Talk to them. They'll send you the capacitor if you can do it. If you send the quad to them, it's going to take two to three weeks, especially with what time of year it is. But they can fix that problem, you can fix that problem, you can order this capacitor, or find somebody like me if you want to send yours to me. Uh, I have a very uh, good name, you can ask me on Facebook. I'll put the last remaining capacitors I have on the few people that would like to have it done, and going to go about my way. Unless I come across more, and then I'll fix more. But... It's very simple. All you do is add a capacitor from the 3.3 volt next to the bind to the negative, uh, 3.3 to negative. And now I can fly as long as I want until the battery is dead. So, there's that. Hope this helps. Peace.